Hi, I'm Kelsey Cook with NetApp SolidFire here with another episode of Pop-Up Tech Talks. We've got Val on the show today. Val, would you mind introducing yourself? I'd be happy to. I'm Val Burkovici, the CTO for SolidFire. Awesome. Thank you for being here. So while we're at DockerCon, I'd love to ask your opinion on containers. Ah, great open-ended question. So two reasons I love containers. One is, as a developer, I've never really liked the VMware or virtual machine packaging for an application. And my joke is, why would I need perfect emulation of a parallel port or a serial port? Those are like old constructs. As a developer, I'd love to have like a pool of resources, a pool of compute, a pool of memory, pool of storage, and maybe some really funky you know, interconnected networking ways to actually connect it all. So why do I love containers? Containers let you do that in a much more natural way for a developer than the VM construct of the past. And so that's why when I was at OpenStack a couple of months ago in Austin, it was really encouraging to see all the container-specific enhancements like Magnum and so forth that let that community think in a more logical way, if you will, intuitive way for developing cloud-native apps. OK, that's great. So containers with making a cloud really go well together. Yes? Absolutely. OK, great. Um, and then, have you been to a DockerCon before? This is actually my first, believe it or not. OK, so what are your thoughts so far just being here at your first one on the first day? I have like a huge sense of deja vu, which is basically when I went to you know, early cloud conferences, the Amazon reInvent conferences and so forth, then to OpenStack and now here, it's kind of ironic that these communities now are all kind of new and forming ways to develop new apps and new ecosystems are forming around them. But when it comes to storage, they're all basically just Groundhog Day. They're reinventing you know, solutions to problems that have been around 20 years and front, you know, frankly solved about 20 years ago, but they're kind of solving them with new languages and new implementations and new APIs and ecosystems integration. So it is deja vu. It's seeing problems that have been solved a long time ago, but the reason I'm here is I'm genuinely excited about the new applications and the new ways these communities are solving these same problems. You know, I know how to solve them. I'm excited about applying them to all these cool new opportunities these Docker and other you know, conferences present us. Sure, so as someone from a storage company, you're able to keep popping up and being part of the conversation about the solution. Yeah, it's true. On the one hand, you know, you're dealing in very comfortable water, swimming in very comfortable waters, familiar territory. On the other hand, you're really kind of stretching your boundaries and getting out of your comfort zone because how we apply them to new runtimes that containers have, new image formats, you know, fundamentally new ways of networking applications. And then I think you know, one of the great battles going on here is the battle of the orchestrators. So how does all the, how, how, how do all the new swarm announcements today compare to the Kubernetes work I do on the CNCF, compared to MesosCon that we were at like a day before our analyst day last month? Just all sorts of open-ended discussions that are a ton of fun. As a geek with a propeller head, it's just, you know, endless amount of topics to discuss. Awesome. Well, great. Thank you so much, Val, for being on the show. And we'll be back soon with another episode of Pop-Up Tech Talks.